Hello guys, how are you? Hope you are doing good. So I have successfully completed five years in corporate world. So I want to sh uh, share with you 37 lessons which I have learned in these five years. If any of you in my audience have, knows more than that, I'm very, very happy to you know see the comments below so that the juniors, whoever is in, watching our video will learn something okay so getting directly into it i have written in my diary 37 lesson, lessons so that i don't miss any lesson okay so 37 lessons each lesson one minute i'll take not more than that so be patient and be with me for 38 to 39 minutes okay let's get into it number one To the size of the company for example if you are employing a small company and another friend of yours is in a big company and you are both as fresh as joined don't assume oh i have into small run might be i'm skipping something no it could not happen in that way. there are four possible scenarios that can happen number one is in big companies two scenarios uh, that is either the person is doing a redundant work or the work which doesn't have a huge demand in the market but they have to do because they are assigned to that or they are doing an exceptional level of work because of that ecosystem is pushing towards them and that ecosystem is there okay in a smaller company you may be having a multiple hats doing diversified activities you are having a great learning so it's a good and if you're in a smaller company second scenario could be that because it has just started now so you will be having a, you know start do some basic works which have value in the market but it's not in demand do you understand what i'm saying so don't be having a prejudice and judgment towards oh i work this company oh this company is very big and you know, it will be having a great work and all no it doesn't have a correlation much okay number two lessons is do your analysis and be aware of which skills are in high demand in current market in your domain and try to get that experience to persist and sustain in market so for example in 2000 i am from medical devices regulatory office i am sharing my experience like in 2019 when i graduated that time mdr was in high demand regulatory requirements changed in europe so all projects came in that and I got a very good exposure to it. Now, if I go out and I, so I say I have MDR experience, uh, I, people are ready to take me. Okay. Currently, we have Asian regulatory changes. So, looking forward, you, uh, I am into Asian regulatory changes means uh, challenging things are happening. So, what if market is in need, you should be having exposure to that. In future, it will accelerate your growth. Okay third lesson is have one-to-one -one with managers time to time is must to help you grow set the goals and expectations clearly with your manager before the financial cycle starts so that both are in the same page you know what exactly you have to work upon you have to show and manager also can uh, measure your performance accurately during your performance um, Boom, you know analysis at the end of the year so there are a few com companies where i have seen you have one to one in your calendar that's it but it is not implemented uh, it should don't uh, be like that entertain one to one with managers don't be shy if uh, they are from other side it's passive be active from your end okay if that was in some companies this one to one doesn't happen you have to take initiative because when you are in a beginning level of your career you don't know all this so one-to-one -one is a meeting where just manager and you are sitting together talking with each other about your career growth and development and what are the expectations of him and yours how you guys can meet each other's expectations and you know be open be active and all that okay coming to fourth lesson don't compare yourself with others oh my god it's a very big lesson compare yourself 
from your past to present have you have in, in personality development has happened job uh, in career did you grow or not are you stagnant analyze for yourself never compare yourself with others you have your own strengths and weakness and they have their theirs how can you compare with others okay so please don't do that it will hurt only it doesn't bring anything else okay yes so fifth lesson is know the company's business just don't be like an idol whatever work is given you are doing you are reporting to the respective persons you should know the business of the company how it is in which trajectory what is the state of the business it's in upward direction or it's downwards or is there any tensions because you have if you know you will be able to have uh, job insecurities and all right so or if anything comes suddenly your mind will not be prepared for it so yes you should know about it and take opportunities take opportunities when they come to you and they face new roles because during mm -hmm. any state of excuse me during any state of business you will have certain opportunities or you may not have sometimes okay so take um, appropriate decisions and which you can do by analyzing the business of company in which you are working currently okay then you have is number six never be competitive but be collaborative in nature learning from team stops when the competition begins it's a very very important lesson i have learned because i have seen few people who are uh, very competitive and even i used to do a little bit before but i have realized the importance of collaboration we, without collaboration when you come into a phase of competitiveness you will be just looking into your individual levels and you will never grow when the learning stops because it stops when you compete right and the output and all positive things just go into the coffin so collaboration is must for your individual growth as well as for the hundred percent team output okay so remember that collaboration is must if you have competitive nature please don't have it try to get out of it okay then next is yes and don't uh, be making a fuss about if someone is competitive in nature maybe it's their immaturity so just leave them to themselves by the time they will learn about it realize it okay so just move next is seventh lesson is develop resilience in corporate resilience resilience see there um, there are a few things when you are working in a small company you may be knowing about technical things only there are certain things like these you must be knowing you come to realize at a far later stage of life if you are not self-reflecting okay so self-reflection is must so resilience is a term what is the meaning of it it's developing a thick skin and what does that mean is so you it handle means it well, no matter what type of situation is your output is not affected in your work you adapt because adoption is also one uh, part of resilience it's a feature of resilience what does that mean is corporate world is uh, this landscape is ever changing okay still based on the you know business requirements you are adopting to the different roles in your domain and you are executing it flawlessly without having the close mindset i'll not do this i'll not do that this is my interest all that okay so yes and the next one is fostering a positive work environment creating that environment okay and keep maintaining your performance so resilient individuals are less likely to be derailed by setbacks example not getting so your manager has shouted on you with some reason so don't take it too hard okay they are teaching you but yes if it happens frequently and deliberately 
without your errors, mistakes, then it's a toxic culture. Just get out of there as soon as possible. Okay. The next eighth lesson is never share your emotional break, uh, breakdowns with your manager because in, that's what you say. No? Resilience doesn't have any emotions. Okay. So don't show your emotions. That means you are not able to control your emotions. Put it aside and do the business. So never break down in front of your manager. <laughs> yes. Then ninth lesson is accept any job role only by clearly knowing about it during the interview process because you may not be liking the role because if you might have done it already or the role is junior level role or the role is not going to help you in your career so don't accept just for your salary in later days money will automatically come to you so don't worry about it so know the role very very clearly before you enter the organization okay tenth lesson we have come to tenth one when you are graduated you are fresher with no hands-on experience so no matter you have taken a number of training certifications a plus 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 grade candidate you still don't have practical exposure so primary priority should be your learnings over salary okay so don't think like i'm a great person if you're from iit nit mit and all those things and you're paid that is a different scenario okay so if you're coming from taiwan city with you know not renowned universities that is the only thing i have i would re recommend 11th lesson is don't sit for a long time on repeated tasks with no challenges you will be in comfort zone which is a big danger in later stage of your life seek your manager's attention okay. 12th lesson try to do diversified work in some same domain if that scope is not there ask your manager to give different work with more challenging in nature by doing so so more utilization of you it will help in later stage of life in corporate 13th lesson be open to reloc relocate for work purposes in early stage of professional career because there miracles will happen you are a bachelor, you may not have responsibilities much as you will have in later stages of life. So why not try to move to a place where your skill is in high demand? Okay, example, I moved to Hetzia Madurai because there was my demand. So I, have, so I went and I learned so many things. I'm so happy that I have and I get great networking there too. So geography power always will be there. So don't hesitate to relocate for early stages at least in your career then 14 know your market value after gaining experience with certain skill sets cost check if you are paid as per market or below then the next step you can take so what do you mean by as per market or not how do you calculate so as per my research um 2x of your experience if you're getting salary it means you are underpaid what do you mean by 2x 2 into experience for example you have a two years of experience and uh, or for example just say four years of experience and you are paid eight lakhs per annum ctc then you are underpaid okay so it's a 2024 guys it's not 2019 anymore so post COVID, it is three x or four x you should minimum have. So three x is average of as per market. You are on average, like you are up to the mark. Four x of your experience, like four into four, sixteen. So if you have a sixteen LPA, means you are in the upper band of the market value. Okay. So rarest of the rare cases, if you are a five x it's very it's not possible but if you have it then you are man you are rarest of the red people okay so keep it up so next is so you have to keep in mind higher the package higher the risk you are 
to be prone to get kicked out of the company also in uh, harsh situations. Coming to 15 lessons I have learned is know your strengths and weaknesses to work on your weakness. Everyone has their own strengths and weakness. Some people are very strong emotionally. They think with rationale, okay, which is needed for business, but they don't know technical, okay. So some are very good in technical, but are weak in emotionally. Why you need both of them balanced is in business, you need both, okay. 16th lesson, get mentorship. Search for a good mentor and get good mentors they are rare if you find never leave their hand and respect them they are your teachers they have increased your bread and butter by their teaching okay so never forget what they have done for you okay 17th lesson learn at least one foreign language it will open up a new door of opportunities in corporate yes uh, you will get a chance of on-site um, work also. For example, I had that uh, seen that in it's here where I was into Japanese client and our organization, our BOL said that if you guys have L3 level of Japanese language, we are ready to send you to Japan. Okay, so it was a great, so like this, there are a few languages like French, Spanish, German, Japanese, Chinese, very popular among these. Okay, now next 18th lesson that I have learned is remember always need of learning new things is a necessity in today's era. It's not a choice anymore. Today's era. If you want to grow in career, you need to equip with the latest developments happening around you in the company and in the market. Through social media, networking, etc., you can come to know what are going on in the market in your domain. Okay. 19th lesson. Don't emotionally get attached to one company, any company, okay? As you grow in corporate world. Always remember, it's a business to which you are a resource only. You will persist till you serve a value addition. So don't be emotionally get attached. 20th lesson. No one is a friend at your workplace. Remember always. No one. Okay. They are colleagues with the team work achieving common goals of business. That's it. Network is crucial. 21st lesson network is crucial so have or create and grow your domain network it will help you in career growth moving to companies okay because they have worked with you they know you they know your capabilities they can refer you whenever the opportunity arises in their organization in their team they can refer or keep a word into their manager's ear right next 22nd lesson build your resume constantly when your resume is constantly growing or adding up it means you are in growth phase if it doesn't have anything to add you are a stagnant phase when you are stagnated there is no growth you will you are probably into a comfort zone okay so don't be in comfort zone if you want to grow career wise okay 23rd don't believe any promises made verbally by managers seek their written consent that is a mail documentation for example if you are i have uh, no experienced it and have been i have got stories to be shared by my friends they have said also and i have also experienced that for if you that friend is move, wanting to move out of the company okay manager will say i'll promote you why you are going please don't go okay then there should be a written mail confirmation of whatever promises they are doing okay make sure you have that 24th principle very important movement from a company is a personal choice of an individual only remember with age priorities change interests change so be aware of it okay so, like as I said, when you were bachelor, please feel free and 
you know, you can relocate anywhere, wherever you want to, where there is a skill need or learning need, you can go into that. But when you have responsibilities like family, kids, you will have constraints in future. So when you have that, the moment of a person from one company to the other, there may be multiple reasons. So don't judge a person if, the, if someone is coming new into the organization. Okay. So yes, 25th lesson. As you grow in career, management skills are must needed. So be continuously equip yourself to be a good manager or a good leader. It will have a great impact on your trajectory of growth. I have seen very bad manager, excellent managers, average managers. So I, I have now set my own goals, how, which type of manager I want to be, what all things I have to equip myself with. So yes, that is a good lesson I have learned. Okay, 26th lesson, knowing when is the right time to move from a company, the red flag. So like if you are learning stocks, you are giving, 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 nothing is coming back to you for your personality development, for your career growth, nothing is coming back. Okay. So that is also a red flag. No projects are there. Projects are there. You are not built in the building status, but you are working in project. Also a red flag business might be gone that might be the case that's why i said in previous lesson study the business of the company in which you're working lack of transparency is there in the organization before it was good now it is not also a red flag toxic culture what do you mean by toxic culture is like micromanagement poor communication and uh, you're not shown a clear roadmap of exactly how you're contributing to whatever what you are doing okay not valued enough for what work you have done not appreciated enough not feeling the touch of the team anymore okay so no mentorship or training opportunities and business model and growth trend is confusing you are not aware of or you are being not conveyed with properly so all these things are the red flags for you to go out of that environment which will be having a bad impact on you if you stay for long you don't know how it will hit you okay next 27th lesson learn soft skills they are the best needed to improve your corporate way of making or getting things done soft skills means what so like good communication what do you mean by good communication conveying exactly what is needed to be conveyed in articulated matter sharpest time in simple and crisp way that doesn't confuse the other person okay. teamwork problem solving adaptability being flexible and open to change all comes their soft skills you can have soft skills uh, free course in linkedin please go through it if you haven't it's very good it has a lot of uh, good Free learning courses like these okay 28 lessons have your self brand your own identity it is a must it helps you in a lot in your career in long run brand development how you can do for example be active in social network create content give trainings do mentoring wherever possible helping people in need helping the cross-functional team members. So by this, what happens is people know, oh yeah, I know this person, okay? So uh, this happened to me in, uh, previously, like I used to work in one project, but because I used to take trainings uh, from, I don't know, and there are a no, lot of LOBs, line of businesses. So someone might have attended my training and they will connect with me and they share the challenges, how to cope up, I would help them in problem solving and they used to you know move on with their work so there were multiple people like that so many connections came and now people know me who i am so if I, for example they are into some x organization and if i need uh, to move on for some reason and if i ask them can you please refer me this is the job profile 
and they know me so they definitely will rep me so that is called self branding which is most needed in this age okay 29th principle take every possible opportunity of public speaking in corporate it will help you grow your network and self identity again okay if you are afraid of you know speaking in public like a stage fear you have what you can do is you as big organizations have like post masters club many clubs are there which help you grow you know uh, pub in public speaking and stage delivery and all that okay please don't uh, lose those type of opportunities it will help you make a good um a, what you say the best version of yourself yes okay 30th principle don't depend on or wait for opportunity to get reimbursement from the company and if you feel like x force is there and i've i won't have to do i know if i do it will have a great effect in my career then don't wait don't wait that when that course comes into the list of the organization then only i'll do it by that time you may have lost lot of opportunities related to that like i have uh, uh, experienced that like i will i did uh, iso 13485 okay um, mqms training when i was a uh, two years experienced kid and uh, when i went to um, next organization they needed the certificated certified person to do the audit and uh, i was very very fortunate i got an opportunity in so early age to do audit and it was possible because of that certification okay so yes it helps it helps a lot and then what the audit which i have done for uh, what business line actually in that business line a vacancy came because i had known their internal structure a little bit they were confident enough that i would be able to catch up with their work if they take me in so can you see the interconnecting dots so yes so that's why this is very important don't hesitate to do certification by yourself <laughs> then 31st lesson helping should be to and fro and not only from one side always don't uh, receive 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 or don't give 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 it should be 50 50% okay uh, yes and learn learn people management skills you will need it in senior level this is the second lesson i have learned so i am working on it okay and 33rd lesson last thing is which i feel like i never regret for doing from the it is helping me in my work directly or indirectly i can explain many examples but it will reduce it will take lot of time so yes i never regretted for doing from the okay so this is for the juniors who are thinking who are having anxiety that what can happen uh, to me after doing farm they are not get any job or what no it's not like that okay it will help you some or the other way whatever you are doing do it with focus concentration and belief next 34th lesson learn negotiation skills it is for you okay how to negotiate with hrs while you are and it comes with time but at the same time it it's so all again uh, talk to people talk have utilization of your network for full maximum okay do that and you will be perfect with that okay yeah sometimes we do miss mis mistakes but they are the lessons for the next negotiation what you are going to do okay so if it's the lesson be right so lesson number 35 is you have to learn to control your emotions you have to be rational always okay how to control your emotions you can have take help of self help books okay and it comes with time okay, some things cannot be learned by theory also okay so 36th lesson never ever share your finances with anyone in your working company who knows when you will be working along with them and it may backfire you so never share your financials okay with anyone 
Next is, Craig, I have experienced that and in a hard way. <laughs> okay, so that is a very big lesson for me. And the last but not the least, 37th lesson is teach only what is required. Don't teach more than required to anyone. Okay, Phuket ka gyan kisi ko banta nahi hai, value nahi aata hai. So, teach and teach and have your boundaries for everything. Okay, so it will be good for you because uh, we don't know how things may go wrong. Okay, and it's a very high competitive world. So that's it from my end. I hope these 37 lessons would help you in your corporate journey. And we'll meet again in next video. Thank you for showing a lot of loves and showers of the blessings. And I'll come back with next great content. Thank you. If you like our content, please subscribe, share, and press the bell icon for our latest video notifications if you want to get it as soon as possible. Share with your fellow students so that they can get such insight, awareness, and if any content you want me to make, please feel free to put in the comment section below. Bye-bye.